Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I want to do a um, Christmas gift guide for kids be aged between two and four. So my daughter Ava is over three and a half. She'll be four in March. Um, and these are the toys that she's been playing with for the last two or so years. Um, mainly just last from from last Christmas to this Christmas. I do have more gift guides and I'll have them linked um, where it's for one to three, what she got for Christmas as a baby at nine months old, what she got for Christmas as like one and a half and a two and a half year old um, and all those sorts of stuff. Um, so if you are looking for inspiration for your own child or for your niece or nephew, cousin or friend's child, whatever it is, um, I will have stuff um, lots of this is gender neutral, um, so it's not just like baby dolls and that sort of stuff. Um, there is a lot of things that could be gender neutral um, and I think that any child um, could <clears throat> could um, get a lot from all of these toys. I will have links to my Amazon shops, Amazon UK and Amazon US. And if you do purchase through these links, um, I may get a little bit of commission back from them. Um, but I haven't so far, I've never received a, received a payment from Amazon, so chances are I still won't. Um, but I just wanted to say that because it is an affiliate link that I am putting down in the description for all these Amazon. Um, I'll share with you where I got them or where the person who bought them for her got them, um, but I'm just going to link Amazon because it's just the easiest and simplest thing. Um, so there's so much stuff I want to show you, but the first things I'm going to just show you are some like off we call them teddies and um, but plushes um her absolute favorite thing and she has two sizes of this is this so it is from um that company ty and um, toys i think it's called um so they do these little teddies this teddy his name is kiki um it's a bit dirty don't don't mind it We've run through about seven of these Kikis in Ava's lifetime. Um, so this is a small size and she has like a medium sized one as well. She sleeps with this every single day. It's her favourite. We can't go to bed without it and if we do she cries until she gets it. Um, so we have this Kiki. Then um, from those same brand um, are these three guys. Um, so we have lots and lots of versions of these. This one's called Asia, this one's called Duke, and this one's called Cleo. Um, and then we have this dog. He is from um, Keel Toys and his name is Daisy. Um, so lots and lots of plush toys. I have so many more. We have a big huge Marie from Aristocats. We have a whole load of them down here behind me. Um, so definitely to like these toys are her favorite. Um, so I'm just gonna shove them in there. Um, another thing that Ava is really interested in playing with are dolls. So these are just the soft ones, they've soft centered. She is getting more dolls this year that are more hard. Um, but these are the dolls she has had for the last few years and she loves these two. She has names for them. And um, this one is called Baby Susie and this one is called Baby Isla. Um, so she plays with these every single day. They get thrown around, they're dirty. Um, I should probably wash them. Um, but these are her absolute faves. Um, so I'm probably not going to be able to link these but um, like little soft toys and we have we just make up games with them we just play this is baby Isla baby Isla's going off on holidays or she's going to school like that sort of stuff just imaginative play with them and um, again it's something Ava loves <coughs> now I have a pretty sore throat um, so excuse me if I'm going to be coughing and spluttering all over the place. Um, I'm just going to move on to some toys now. Um, so you know that I am a major fan of the um, the brand Orchard Toys. Um, I've actually asked people to get more Orchard Toys games for her this year. Um, so these are some of our favourites. So first we have mother and baby pairs. So, um, so you get the baby and then you have to match it to the mum. Um, so that one's interesting. You just place them all out and you match them up. Again, another matching game um, is this pigs in a blanket. Um, so there's just pairs and you have to match them up. Um, so those two are good. Something that we love to play is this old McDonald Lotto. 
Um, so basically you have cards and then we take turns and turn over the cards and seeing if they match what's on our big card. And then when we are, which is exactly like bingo, um, when we get our card full, that's it. Um, that person is the winner. Um, another game that she started to really enjoy is this dominoes game. So on the farm dominoes. Um, so on one side, I'll show you here, on one side there's animal pictures and the other side there is like dots for the numbers. And um, we haven't gone to the dots, we've only done the animal side, but there's like a 16 page book that shares with you what happens on a farm, what equipment you use, what you can, um, what produce you can get from a farm, that sort of stuff. Um, so Domino's is another one. Um, we also, she also really enjoys puzzles, um, but she has to be in the right mood for a jigsaw puzzle. Um, so one of her faves is this Peppa Pig one. Um, so as you can see, it's from Rave, Ravensburger. Um, so there's four of them. So Peppa is a 10 piece, Susie is a 12 piece, Rebecca Rabbit is 14, and George is a 16 piece. Um, so this one is great because we get her to sort it by the colours, and then she makes each jigsaw out um so that is good and then i really really enjoyed these because they're how big the pieces are um so it's my first puzzle um so itsy bitsy spider is the first one and then whoop, and then the other one is like a farm friends one so it's a 12 piece puzzle um, and we really enjoy them as I say because the pieces are quite big in them um, so we can get a lot done with it. Um, on the puzzling front um, we have some Lego Duplo. Um, so this is the Minnie Mouse one but there are so many versions of Lego Duplo out there. Um, but we really like this Um, Ava likes it as well. We also have bigger blocks um, as well but she likes the teaming of this I think because Minnie Mouse is in it. <coughs> so yeah this one is a definite that I would recommend um, then we're on to kind of the imaginative play side of things um, so first thing out is this bee toys um, so this is the acoustic drawer, guitar and we play with this on a daily basis um, so it plays music But it also does as a dog. It does. But it like barks as a dog and howls as a dog to sing. Um, so this is something that we play with every single day. Um, another thing that I really recommend for kids and it really gets them really um, using their imaginations are um, like a register for a shop. So we have this one um, um, in my mum's and also in Robert's parents they have um, cash registers as well but this is the one from Leapfrog and um, so they these are like the little toys that go in so you scan it and then there's money um, money and a card in there um, so you can like swipe the card or you can put the money in here you can press the little buttons and it sings a song where it counts to 10 and Ava loves that song. Um, so yeah, I really like this Leapfrog one. As I said, there is other ones that my parents have and um, they're really, really good as well. Um, or the parents, not just my parents. Um, so one thing that we bought for Ava, the big thing that we bought for Ava last year is her kitchen. Um, so that's obviously in a different room, so I'm not going to drag that in here. But a, ki a play kitchen for a kid is super, super, like I think it's one of the best gifts that you could probably give them. Um, the amount of imagination that you get in, the amount of play that they get out of it. And um, we constantly are getting dinners made for us. Um, we got a small one from Smith's. Um, it's going to be on the screen here and also we have um, plastic play toys and also um, we have the felt ones from Ikea as well. Um, either or are good. Um, we have a range of like steel pots from Ikea but also wooden pots. Um, our particular kitchen came with like salt and pepper um, and a couple of I think two 
um two pots and pans um it has like a little door it's a wooden door it's a wooden one it's a it has a door for um the microwave and also for the oven um hours and hours of play that she gets out of that she still plays with it every now and again sometimes it builds up because she puts a lot of her toys that she doesn't put away there um so when it's free and clear she'll definitely just play with it all the time so yeah a play kitchen is definitely one that i recommend wholeheartedly to people it doesn't have to be expensive ours wasn't a big expensive item um, and it is quite small but she still does get a lot of play out of it um, another thing that we have got miles and miles and miles of fun out of is the tea set so this is a hape one um so it is quite small but um, she can carry it around and the amount of cups of tea that we have had since we got this last Christmas is beyond me. So it comes with a little tea bag, two cups, two saucers and milk. Um, it comes with um, a sugar with a spoon and then the teapot. Um, so a little for a little tea party, a wooden one um, from Hape. Um, really recommend this. It is absolutely brilliant and it's been holding up so so well. Obviously comes with the tray as well. Um, so definitely that was one of the best buys that we've had. That and the kitchen has got so much use. Um, another thing that um, was really successful for us was this Melissa and Doug. Melissa and Doug um, food cutter um, so basically um, in the set you get one two three four five six seven eight because there's two missing you get a knife and you also gonna get like a bread board. and then you put down um, the item and then you can cut through it with the knife because there's velcro in the middle and the amount of fun that we've had chopping up the toys now it is kind of annoying when you have to make the toys up at the start when they don't realize how they go together now they do when she can make them herself um but we also use this for food prep um for our kitchen and you know she'll make us like sliced tomatoes and she'll fry it or like slice bread she'll slice up the bread and serve us like a whole meal like put together um with like potatoes and corn and all that sort of stuff that she has out in her kitchen so this melissa and doug so it's one that you cut as i said there is like velcro holding them together and um, you can see there's velcro and then you put down you get your knife and then you cut through and then it comes off and you can serve it and that sort of stuff so we went through hours of just her cutting them and us putting them back together and it was just a constant cut and put back together um but now she's at the point where she can put them back together herself and she incorporates it into her kitchen as well which is really good um so so another thing that is rec I recommend for that two to four age is a scooter so we um Robert's parents got her this micro scooter um a mini micro scooter and it has like flashy wheels on it um last Christmas and also a helmet a helmet is really important and make sure that it fits your child's head and you can adjust it at the back because um you know they can still fall and hit their head and you want one that um, fits because if it doesn't it's just going to fall off their head and not actually protect her head at all and um, but this is the as you can see the red one um, <clears throat> with the flashing LED lights now one a, a version of this does come without the flashing lights but she is a fan of her scooter um, so definitely that is something else I recommend for that two to four years old range <coughs> Another thing, I'm just going to turn you here, um, is her tent. So we put her, to, we got that tent for her, her her second Christmas, I think it was when she was a year, a year and a half ish. Um, we got this tent and we had to put it away last year because we got so much new toys. And um, so we took it out later this, um, late uh, late in the summer, and since then she has played with it every single day um she absolutely loves this tent i uh, i think right now is the perfect age so the age from two to four i think is the perfect age um she gets so much so much um play out of it and um, this one is from the b toys brand um along with the little guitar here and then if you watch from my gift guide for one to three you see i also include lots of b toys as well um, but they're long lasting now 
the um some of the uh the poles are breaking and we had to use like um like tape on them duct tape on them but um <clears throat> it's holding up robert and ava are really really tough on it um but uh yeah if you can get a tp tent or a tent of some kind like a little wendy tent or a pop-up tent for your, your little kid i think they'd love that um something else over here um you can see it oh no i'm not pointing at it <coughs> is this easel so my mom bought her this um one side of it is a chalkboard and the other side is magnetic whiteboard um so and then that at the top of it oh god i'm not pointing at all at it at the top of it is a roll of paper um so you can just kind of pull that down and then do your painting and stuff so this is something else she's really into art now um she loves to paint and color in the car we have a coloring book and some crayons and she just colors away um really recommend those two um nearly the at the end now nearly at the end of my recommendations but i wanted to kind of give you guys um, she does play with all of these things, obviously not every single day, um, but the majority of days, like every single day she'll play with the tent and the dolls and we'll play doctors. I'm going to show you doctors now. And then other days she'll play with her kitchen and she'll make us things and she'll make us tea. Other days she plays with the cash register. You know, it just depends on her mood. Um, so one thing that Robert got for her last Christmas um, was this. It's a My Pet Grooming Salon with a cat. Um, so basically inside it, it's like a little cat carrier case and you can get a dog version of this as well where it's a vet, I think. At the front it has this, but you can also open it at the side. Um, so inside it, it has everything you need for grooming. So it comes with the, with the little plush um, and then everything you need for grooming. So like something to feed the dog, a mirror, some brushes. Um, dog and cat or cat food, a little hair dryer. So this one is really great. Again, a lovely pretend imaginative toy. We bring all of her plushes to the to the groomers, and she like pretends to write down what we want. Like, oh, make sure you cut her nails, and you wash her, and you blow dry her, and you brush her. Um, so she takes it. But then the main thing, and the main thing that she has been doing for the past year, guys, is playing doctor. We actually have three doctor sets. So this is Junior Doctor. Um, <clears throat> my, I think my brother got this for her last year. <coughs> so inside the doctor kit is something to take your blood pressure, a stethoscope, um, like a scissors, like a little kidney dish, like that sort of stuff. And then when we went to Peppa Pig World for our summer holidays, she got a Peppa one. Um, so every single day, one of us has to pretend to be hurt over and over and over and over again as she comes and she's the doctor. Or she pretends to be hurt and we come and we're the doctor and we fix her. Playing doctors is one of her absolute favourite things to do. Um, so, that's it guys. <laughs> that's my mountain of, of... I could probably show you maybe two or three other things, but I'm not going to because that's a lot of things to take on but as i said if i could recommend three things that you get for a child of this age one is a scooter of some kind that really really helps them two is a doctor kit or a nurse's kit or like the grooming a grooming salon something that you use like little itty bitty toys and they can make up a game about and then three is the tent or the kitchen the kitchen to use the kitchen because the kitchen are like a tea set like honestly like the hours of imagination and all that sort of stuff that she gets out of those those items that i've just said here is absolutely amazing the stories that she comes up with to see her brain working is really really cool especially with the kitchen and the doctor like it's really really cool um but yeah 
they are my recommendations as I said I will have them linked on Amazon um, and Amazon US and Amazon UK if I can find them and um, I will just bring you to like a central page where I have my recommendations from last year if you're looking for from the one to three years of age um, are still on those pages as well so um, yeah I'm gonna do a separate book one and um, we're really into books now and um, so I'm gonna kind of share with you some that Ava enjoys but also some that I have found are great for her speech um, because as you know she does have a speech delay um, so that's it guys thank you so much for watching today's video I hope that you've enjoyed it if you did please do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you in the next one bye